I wish I could sing. Like I have some like good questions to get to know you. This is like fake or real? It's real. You're watching Race TV. My name is Ezra. I'm 33 years old. I'm from the Netherlands, uh, general manager of the EF Cannondale uh, women's cycling team. I think the best best job in the world. To be honest, I think it's the best uh, challenge to take on, to build a completely new team with a completely blank sheet. This isn't to keep fans happy. This isn't to keep sponsors happy. We're starting this women's team to create a women's team that eventually be, be one of the best women's teams in the world. It's really like the sky is the limit type attitude, and it really is on this team. First of all, it's about building a team. Uh, luckily here we, we already have a good setup, a, a very nice infrastructure. Of course we already have really good input from the men's EF team that's been around for years and years and years. We don't need to recreate the wheel, but we can use what works for the women's side, but also have some ownership around it from the rider's perspective. What do we want to tell? What story do we want to tell? Which ultimately fits in the DNA of this team. I have some like good questions to get to know you. So, if you are traveling, what is the one thing you always bring with you in your suitcase, not cycling related? My airplugs. <laughs> and to like have it silence or listen to music? Silence. If you could choose a superpower, what would it be? <laughs> Come on. Yeah? You want to do the stare down? I would want to fly, because then I can see the world from above and I'm free. Maybe to read people's minds. Uh, teleporting. Fly. I'm a short person. I would like to be in two places at once. Ah, interesting. Everybody wants to fly. I would like to be able to fly. There you go, another one who wants to fly. <laughs> From then, it's about bringing the group together. And we have some common goals. But of course, we also need a little bit of time to implement it in the racing. I think that's super important to build a good foundation first and, and to come up with the team's philosophy and the team's goals and the team's vision. I think we have a really good mix of experienced riders with a, already years and miles in the peloton, um, but also a really big group of riders that are young in age or young uh, on the bike. The girls have so much to gain in knowledge because we do have such a mixed group, like we have a big development piece to that for the riders and they have really what's put on with the men's side of the program that they, we have all those same resources that they can really grow and, and see, see their limit. Seeing them develop as a person, as an athlete, is, um, is, is amazing. If you could choose a seat in a plane, would it be window seat or on the aisle? On the outside. You like to go to the toilet a lot? Yeah, I like to stretch. If you could swap your life for one day with anybody in the world, with who would you want to swap? With Wout van Aert. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Which snack do you miss the most from like your home country? Okay, anything from Costco or Trader Joe's. They make the best snacks. They make these little peanut butter pretzels and, they're, and they sell them in these big, yeah, all you Americans know what I'm talking about. These big, <laughs> <laughs> these, these big plastic tubs. Their goals are actually quite high. The most important for me is not what they can do as individuals. It's always about what they're able to do as a group. So for me, that is the most exciting. We can achieve a lot in, a, in already a short amount of time. And this is really a long-term project. Hopefully we can build them and others into world-class riders. We're creating a women's team that's going to be competitive and good. And we're going to like get behind this women's team. Like I just didn't want to do it half-assed. We up for the challenge. Uh, are you still recording? <laughs> hey, Nina, uh, do you remember that time when you asked yeah. me why I wasn't at European Championships. <laughs> I can't remember anything. No, no, it, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, you did not do the Europeans. I was just surprised why you were not at the Europeans. <laughs> me too.